Good morning. We slept in the car last night. Right next to the sea, which was nice, but we didn't get a lot of sleep. It's just not fun sleeping in the car. <laughs> now, is there a better way to wake up than with a sunrise over the ocean? I don't think there is. We're both very tired, so first port of call is a coffee. And we've just got to the coffee shop. We've had a coffee, and now the first stop is Mossy Point Lookout. Mossy Point was amazing, really nice views. We've just come to Brulee Beach. Could be something on here. Seems to be a lot of surfers. watching the surfers ride the waves. I would love to learn how to surf, but I just don't even know where to begin. <laughs> Might have to pay for surf lessons. It looks awesome. It looks so fun. We have arrived at Shark Bay. Apparently you don't really see sharks, it's just a name, unfortunately. But we're going to attempt to walk to Brulee Island. Apparently it's attached by a sandbank. <laughs> Running out of beach. We've come to the other side of the sandbar now, and oh my god, it's so calm on this side. We did Google the high tide times because obviously it's a lot easier to get to the island when it's low tide, and it is about high tide, so we think the tide's coming in and we might get stuck on the island. <laughs> I don't think we can make it around the island like we planned, the tide's a bit too high but it is absolutely gorgeous here the water's really calm, really blue and it's very peaceful, it's quite nice When I looked on Google it said you could only get to the island when it's low tide which is why I looked at the tide times but I think what it means is you can't see all of the island so you can get to the island but you can't see all of it when it's high tide unfortunately we couldn't really come back later on, we had to do it now because of all of our plans. Unfortunately, we couldn't see it all the way around. Oh, nearly got flooded then. <laughs> This is the Brulee canoe tree and it's believed to be around 200 years old. Around a century ago, the Aboriginal people made a canoe, well, believed to have made a canoe out of the tree, which is why it has the scar that it does in the bark. This tree has narrowly escaped destruction a few times in its lifetime and it's meant to be one of the only canoe trees that's still alive in the area.
We've come to the historic quarry park. Here's a few minutes drive on. The first quarry in the area was opened by Henry Ziegler in 1854. And essentially the granite from the quarries here helped to build churches and other monuments in the New South Wales area. And also they helped build the Sydney Harbour Bridge. started raining <laughs> but we now got a 22 minute drive to one tree point lookout so hopefully it stops raining in the meantime we had a short stop off for breakfast and we're now at the one tree lookout it is exactly as it sounds Why is it? It's one tree. <laughs> Why is it? <laughs> oh, very cool there. It's midday now and we've decided to head to the campsite. It started to get really cold and it started to rain and we had a few beaches to see and I think we've seen enough beaches <laughs> over the last couple of days. It's not all sunshine and beaches and lovely weather. It has been not pouring it down since we got to the campsite so we've just been hiding in the car doing a bit of editing and doing some puzzles <laughs> so we've got a long day ahead of us oh, what's the time it's only half past two it's only half two and it's meant to be raining till eight so just gotta wait it out might be another night in the car it is properly piling it down We've got a creek right next to us, which is just going to put me on edge if it keeps coming down this much. It's finally stopped raining. We put the tent up and now we're making burgers. Good morning. Jordan is driving she's in control and we're just leaving our camp for the night and our first stop is to go to Joshua's beach were pretty uh, dangerous. <laughs> I can't feel myself get dragged out. I think the whole beach was pretty much a red light.
that wasn't Josh's beach. Apparently, I think we drove past Josh's beach, but that was pretty cool. The waves were a bit nuts and there was a lot of riptides, so we couldn't really go in too deep. Every time I floated, I drifted out to sea. So we just stayed at the edge, really. And then um, the little bit going around the edge was quite fun to float in, <laughs> which was a lot safer than the sea. But yeah, really fun that was. So yeah, all in all, Delaney's Beach, absolutely amazing. You've got a lazy river and if you can surf, the waves were pretty nuts. There's quite a lot of surfers out there, so definitely recommend coming here, even if you just float around in the lazy river bit. It was awesome. We've had a shower and we're on to the next place now. We don't have any signal, so God knows where we're going. We've just arrived at Bateman's Marine Park and we were going to be heading to Bar Beach North which I think is to the left of it and on the reviews it said seals have been seen so I thought oh let's go and check it out and Jason just spotted a seal in the water I didn't believe him <laughs> there actually was one there and then we saw a giant manta ray that's just awesome This is crazy. Just saw a massive stingray or manta ray, probably as big as me. <laughs> it's massive. Wow, this is so cool. Because we went to the wrong place, we've actually ended up near another one of the things that we wanted to do, which is the Mill Bay Boardwalk. And the reason why we wanted to do that was to see stingrays, and we've already seen them. So hopefully we can see some more. That was amazing. Honestly, so epic. I don't actually think we'd see them, so I'm very happy that we did. Lovely. I think that's one of my highlights of this whole trip so far. Yeah. The stingrays or manta rays, whatever they were, were absolutely giant. And the seal just looked like he was putting on a show for everyone. Really cool. It was just like playing, playing around in the water and uh, just having a good time like we are.
We've both really worked up a massive appetite after the seal watching and everything else that we've done this morning. So we've got the mobile picnic station out on the back of Padge and we're gonna make some sarnies. We've got a nice little setup thanks to the previous owners and uh, we can just do it in the boot, which is good. Now we're heading to Seal Rock where we might see some more seals. Fingers crossed that we do because they're awesome. They're my sort of animal, they just like to have fun. So my sun cream left in? No? <laughs> This is absolutely amazing, like just to get this close to them. And I mean, they're just sleeping, they're playing around. There's a couple that are fighting, but they're wicked. You should definitely, definitely come here if you come to Australia. Did you see the teeth on that? That was excellent. That was properly amazing. I could not recommend it more to anyone who decides to come to this part of Australia. Wicked. Smile on my face. Happy days. Happy Jason. It's a good day so far. I can't believe how many there were there. There were loads. And it's also free. <laughs> Which you know I love free. I love my wildlife and I love my free. That was epic. So cool. Now driving to our campsite which is near Mystery Bay so we might check out the beach for them. It's another paid one. It was $24 for the night and uh, it is basically right on top of a few of the things that we want to see so it'll be worth it just to stay there have some showers
Bay, there is Knob Rock and Horsehead Rock. I believe I've seen Knob Rock. Now you're going to have to let us know whether you think that does or does not look like a knob. Because personally to me it doesn't. <laughs> I can kind of see it a little bit, but... <laughs> Squeaky sounds! 